Hey guys, it's me, Johnny Crimson 2000 here, and uh, welcome back to my live playthrough of Grand Theft Auto 3. So, uh, just for starters, I just want to say a couple things. First of all, I apologize for not having, not bringing out a new part in such a long time. I have been so incredibly busy um, these last two weeks, just craziness all over the place so I, I apologize again for not uh, coming out with a new part in, uh, in a really long time so but I think it's been like two weeks since I've played Grand Theft Auto 3 and we've uh, continued this file so again apologize for that but uh, now we're back and uh, the second thing that you may notice right away is that the audio for for this part may seem a lot louder than usual at least my voice and the reason for that is that uh, in the last couple times that I've streamed live um, through Twitch, I noticed that my voice is rather low, uh, that you can't hear it as as well, I guess, as normal, uh, you know, as I normally do. I mean, mind you, I do increase the the audio, the level of audio when I do my post editing uh, normal let's play videos, but uh, for my live let's play videos, because I I'm limited to how much I can edit and stuff like that. Uh, I can only do s but so much. So right now I I've increased the level of the audio that's coming in through my voice through my headset. Um, I've been playing around with it. If it's too loud, if it kind of screeches or if, if it sounds wonky, I apologize. But I'm trying to play around. I may I may end up getting a new headset altogether. We'll see. But anyway, um, here we go. Let's go play. Uh, I I it's been so long. So let's go with K. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, look at that. Title drop. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I've never had the opportunity to repay his kindness. The man's weakness is motor cars, and he has requested that we acquire him certain models. Yeah, certain models, okay. Needless to say, we must give him the cars as a gift. To repay the debt that I owe him. Anybody yes. notice that this guy has a lisp? And deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. Behind the car park in Newport. I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to be funny or incredibly stereotypical. Oh, son of a! All right, remember the cars have to be in mint condition to be accepted in the garage. Okay, so thankfully I was kind of expecting. Uh, we had a similar mission in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Or it's more like a side mission, really, where you had to bring in, where you had to bring in cars to your um, the the audio auto museum or the auto dealer. The only difference with that was that that was a completely side mission. It was optional, and you didn't have a time limit. So that's one of the things that I'm noticing right away is that this thing has a time limit, and I hate time limits with a passion. I hate them so very much. Alright, let's... car appears to be right there. Hopefully, nobody will come out of nowhere and, uh... Hopefully? Hopefully? Maybe? Yep. Okay, let's turn that off before we get sued. And, uh, I need to find a way to get out of here. Okay, there it is. Alright, so the thing here is that we have to bring it back uh, in mint condition, so we can't scratch it up. Otherwise, I'm assuming that we have to take it to the um, the paint spray. Now here's the thing: there are so many little little icons down there at the bottom in the in my radar. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to take this, which is not good. And I have to turn around. Damn it! Okay, so this is going to be a problem here because I'm not exactly sure where Newport is and I'm not exactly sure oh okay wait 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 wait. I think I noticed if you guys notice down there I, I hope I'm right but there's one little blip one little pink blip that's brighter than all the other ones and I'm assuming that that is where we are supposed to take our car here actually I'm pretty sure that's the case at least I hope that's the case alright so Fort Staunton now hopefully, oh damn it, I... Alright, so we have to... There's like a garage somewhere. Nope, I passed it, damn it. Where is it? 
It said it's supposed to be here. Where? Alright, so maybe it's here. I may or may not have to do this over again. Just because, again, I don't know this place. That's right there. Yes. Okay, get out of the vehicle and walk outside. Give me free time, more time. Aw, oh, damn it. Ugh. I was hoping that I would get some more time, but no. Of course not. Alright, let's keep chucking along here. Aw, oh, damn it. I need a car. I really need a car. See, this is one of the reasons why I hate... Okay, I need a car, seriously. Uh, run, damn you. Oh, you're tired. No. Oh, God. All right. I am sucking. Right. Damn it. Uh, no. Come here. Oh, damn it. Uh, this sucks so hard. All right. I really need this guy's car. Get out of the damn car. All right. Here we go. And it just so happens to be a low rider. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have... It looks to me like it's two more cars. I think. And there's one over here, but the only problem here is that we only have two minutes to get this. Ugh, move out of the way. Out of the freaking way. See, this, this is the one thing that I noticed right away. Um, some of you may have followed me. You know what? Screw this. In the time that it takes for me to find the entrance to this thing, I could have just hopped over. Um, if you guys... Some of you may have uh, joined me in my previous ooh, Grand Theft Auto uh, playthrough, which was Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I kind of went backwards, I know. Um, one of the things that I immediately noticed, having gone from that game to this game, is just how much more traffic there is in this game. And it it's, it's to the point where it's a problem. Uh, and by a problem, I mean that it's annoying as all hell. Because there's just cars constantly, constantly getting in your way. Like, all the time. Alright, so... Meh. Okay. Now, one thing I have noticed here is that because of the position that we're at, um, there is a pay and spray right next to us. Oh, come on. Go in there. There we go. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do we really have to wait? There we go. The thing about that is that it makes us wait till the door goes all the way down um, as I was saying the this game there there seems to be a lot more um, get out of the car sir or the truck this probably isn't the best idea since this thing is probably really really slow but honestly at this point I just need a car and you know what I'm probably I'm looking at my time there my timer and I'm probably not going to be able to make it I only have 30 seconds left, and this thing is s slow as molasses. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe I can do it. No, I don't think I can. <laughs> All right, get out of the damn car. Get out of the damn car. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I can make it, guys. I don't think I can make it. Get in there. Oh, nope. All right, screw it. I failed. Alright, you flipped your wheels. Hey, at least, um... At least I kept it inside. Oh, god damn it, with all these damn triads. Like, I freaking hate triads. Alright, so, we're just gonna have to retry the mission again. At least this time, I know more or less what I'm expecting and what to do and where to go and things like that. That's usually the case. No problem. No big deal. Just trial and error, man. Just trial and error. That's, that's, that's the beauty thing about uh, doing this thing live. So, you have to... You have to plan on the fly. Now, uh, you guys may notice right there, there's a mission right there with the payphone. And uh, if you've been keeping up with me since the beginning, you'll realize that there is still one mission that I still haven't done from the very, very first part, uh, from part one of this Let's Play, this live Let's Play. And that's the one back all the way in Portland. Um, a race, a particular race that I still haven't beaten. And uh, pretty much ever since I failed that mission the first time, during the first part, I've, I've kept saying that I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And uh, I promise you guys, I will eventually get to it. It's just, again, I've been so incredibly busy. And my god, the handling in this car is just horrible. Um, 
so yeah, don't don't be don't be discouraged. I, I will eventually beat that. Um, I will I'll the the plan for for this let's play. Again, I don't know this game as much as I do uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Vice City is probably my the one game that I in in the in the PlayStation 2 Xbox era Grand Theft Auto games that I know the most. It, it's uh it's a tie between Vice City and San Andreas, though I will give Vice City a slightly uh, a slightly higher edge um, than San Andreas, just because San Andreas is so huge. Um, so, all right, come on, all right. So now we know what to do. So, you know, eventually I, I am going to beat all the I'm I'm or at least the plan is that I'm going to beat as many missions in this game as possible um, to a certain extent because again I've the thing about this playthrough is that I have actually never beaten this game. I've seen the ending, but uh, I've never beaten it by myself, which uh, may sound weird, but that's, you know, that's unfortunately the case. And um, so you, that's the other cool thing about this is that I am recording this. I'm playing this live with you guys, with you all, and so you're gonna see me, hopefully, <laughs> um, me beat this game for the very first time and it's gonna be glorious and it's gonna be great but uh, because of that I don't know exactly how many of these missions in total I can actually beat by myself uh, I mean you've already seen me I, I cheese past a couple missions here and there because again um, I just got frustrated <laughs> and I just said screw it but uh, yeah that's my plan I'm gonna try to beat as many of the missions that are that are available in this game as possible um, and you guys will see it so and again the fun thing is that it, this is completely live so you guys are seeing me um, during my mess ups my uh, my f ups if you will I'm trying to turn tone down the cursing here that's one thing I've been trying to do um, lately is I've been trying to tone down the cursing sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, one of the things that that happened uh, this past week actually is I got my live back which I may be doing a live stream of that soon you guys uh, care to join me um, I still only have Grand Halo Reach so you know that's the game that I've kind of go back to a lot uh, Halo Reach I still haven't gotten Halo 4 unfortunately which is a shame if you know you know how much of a fan of Halo uh, I am yes yes beep beep so um, at a certain point I do want to open it up to having a live stream of Halo Reach Online, and um, my hope is that I can go ahead and sort of announce that on my Twitter, and then if you guys want to join me, I'll go ahead and uh, and get that get that taken care of. So if you want a shout out for me during one of my videos, that's your perfect chance to do so. If you want to join me for uh, a uh, a super cool, super fun Halo Reach um, live online playthrough. Again, it's still iffy. That's, I mean, that's just honestly. I just thought about that like a couple days ago. Really informal, really. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that I've been meaning to do. I, I have done it before in the past. I did it with Halo 3, and then I actually, I, I did do it with Halo Reach in the past, but never like an absolutely live. That that was back when I was still recording footage and. Um, I was recording it live and I was talking live, but then I would go into, I would record it. Um, I b basically what I'm trying to say is like I, I was, I didn't stream it. God damn it, I took a wrong turn. I mean, gosh darn it, I took a wrong turn. Um, oh wait, what the hell? Can I go through here? I think I can. Oh man, there's so much fog here. So yeah, if if you're interested in doing that, if you want to, you know, if you want a shout out. Um, from me, if you want a little bit more exposure, then uh, join me for my Halo Reach live online playthrough or live stream. Should be fun. Should be fun. Um, I'm not above giving people shoutouts. You know, I wouldn't mind a shoutout myself. So, you know, we're just trying to, you know, gamers, man. We got to stick together. Oh God damn it! All right, I mean, oh, gosh darn it! I, seriously, I, I, I am seriously trying to cut back on the cursing all right I have two minutes this is automatically a lot better than my last run that was a cop um, man that, that's another thing that I've noticed about this game Grand Theft Auto 3 compared to Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is that the fog in this is just incredible 
And by incredible, I mean annoying. Um, it's just very thick. I mean, this this thing wanted you to not be able to see at all. All right, come on. As I said last time, in the time that it takes me to get to enter the proper entrance way to this park or this parking lot, I could have just jumped over the thing. All right, so now one thing that I do have to be careful about this is that you do have to avoid getting hit or messing up your ride, your whip, if you will, as the kids would say it. And uh, flipping it over obviously constitutes an instant game over. So that's no good. All right, so we're almost here. We're almost here. Just have to take this right turn here. Avoid any stupid triads that are sh trying to shoot us because they're just haters. They're just haters. And then hopefully this should be it. Took us two tries, but that's all right. And there we go. With 28 seconds left. Booyah. Now the only the only bad thing is that I can't just go in back in there and get my car again. All right, so that was one mission. Let's go to R down there. If you guys notice at the um, on the radar there. Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and get some armor again. There we go. And uh, as I said before, guys, some of you may be wondering what what I'm doing here with uh, using cheat codes and stuff like that. I don't use cheat codes all the time. The only times that I ever use cheat codes is in between missions when uh, when I'm trying to get all my weapons back. Uh, when I'm getting my weapons, my health, and my armor back. That's the only times that you'll ever see me using um, cheat codes on, for this playthrough. Um, if you watched my Vice City playthrough, you already you already know the drill. But if you're joining me for the first time, then that's that's how I'm kind of handling this game. Um, I it, it's more or less just a matter of trying to make this gameplay flow better. That's really the only reason why. I you know it'd be really boring to watch me having to go back to the hospital or having to go back to ammunition every time I lose a mission or every time I have to stock up on ammo and armor and stuff like that. It's not fun. All right, evidence dash. I love this guy. He lives in a toilet or in a stall anyway. I know a real important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. Oh, damn, it's a car. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it. We're both going to do pretty well out of this. Uh, why did I get the feeling I'm going to hate this mission? Well, actually, it's already good because I don't see a timer. So that automatically makes it at least, at least not annoying. It would have been a, a lot more annoying if they told me something like, Oh, you have five minutes to collect every piece of evidence that falls out of this car. That would have been annoying. Watch that be exactly how it goes down. I still love that billboard, by the way. That one that we just passed with the girl with the big afro. I don't know why. I really like it. Alright, let's see where this van is. Actually, I think it just passed it. What the hell? Oh my god, there's slow down. Okay, I don't get this. Oh wait, I think it might be one level down. Where the hell is this? Oh, okay. There he is. Oh god. Pro. That was pro. You you guys know you like it. That was some Starsky and Hutch stuff right there. Alright, so there's this guy. We have to ram him. And get whatever drops out of him. Just sounds like a bad porno script. Uh... Out of the way, people. Out of the way. I don't have the fastest car in the world, so... Boosh! Boosh! <laughs> there we go. 
Oh, uh, are you kidding me? I have a wanted level two. Oh, this is this is gonna suck balls. And then I don't know where the freaking pay and spray is, and my car sucks ass. Oh, what the hell? Did he just? <laughs> Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. There he is. There he is. Boosh! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Don't hit me! Don't hit me! All right, come on. You have two. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Ah! You know, it'd be lovely if they told me where the where a pay and spray is. Why am I getting chased, by the way? He's the one that has like most of the stuff anyway. Oh god, oh god, oh god, get in the car, get in the car. Oh come on. There we go. The one thing I'm noticing though is that at least it's not going any higher than two wanted levels. Or two star levels at least. Watch it jump to four. Okay, so I'm just paying attention here to the The only downside here is that we have to physically get out of the car and get it. Which is annoying. And dangerous! Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, you mother... F uh, uh, uh. Oh, I could not have gotten out of the car at a worse spot. There are no cars anywhere near... Yes, there is. Come here. Shut up, you old lady. Suck it, old man. All right, we just have to find the insert cops theme song here. All right, there he is. There he is. I see you. I see you, sir. What am I collecting anyway? Is it just drugs, or evidence, or photographs, or I, I can't even remember. Ooh. Tick, tick, tick. No, get, get, get out. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Go, 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 go. Okay. See, the thing is, I don't know exactly if, um... Ow. I have one left. I have one left. And then I never have to play the stupid mission ever again. Boosh! There he goes! Oh god, move out the way. Please, 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 please... No, 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 what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? Ah! I... Oh, God. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. I didn't see the... Okay, you have six of six evidence package. Leave the evidence in a car, then torch the car. Now, when you say torch... Obviously, I want to lose the cops first. Or at least get some distance away. Am I right? Oh, Jesus. Go, 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 go. Well, that's one way to... Ah! Blow up, blow up, damn you. Yes! And then the wanted levels just immediately go. Grand Theft Auto Logic. Sometimes I love it. Alright, so now we have apparently a new mission over there I, that starts with a D if you guys notice um, first of all we need a car this one seems semi good and of course we always want to alright let's go to K first let's go back to K and then we'll check out D um, I don't remember the names of these people I'm probably not gonna remember so don't ask me um, yeah K is good because it's closer so let's go check out what this guy has to say. Our nice little Asian friend with a lisp. And uh, before we do that, just because I've learned now. There we go. Let's park it this way so it's a little easier. In case we have a timer, which something tells me that we will eventually. All right, deal, steal. When trouble looms, the fool turns his back while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. 
Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombian. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Hmm. So now we have Jamaicans. Alright, the cartel are expecting a yardy passe. Go and steal a yardy car. Head north, you'll find one in Newport. Alright, that's good, because I have no idea what the hell a yardy car looks like. Oh, what the hell? Alright, this is a problem because they told me that there is a yardy car in Newport, but I don't remember where Newport is. You know, a simple nice little blip would have been nice. Or, you know, like something like a map. That 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 is one of the things that I, I mentioned before, that this game is severely lacking a map. Um, that is a huge, huge problem that I've noticed before. See, like right now, I have no idea where the hell I'm going. It says that there's one in Newport, but I don't remember where Newport is. Newport, by the way, is that place where we were leaving our, those, um, actually, I think it's this way. Uh, Newport is that place that we were leaving our cars before. It should be this way, and my goodness, there's a lot of people shooting at us. Yeah, see, here it is. But, see, like, I don't know, maybe it's this thing? Is this a Yardie? No, that's a ballista. See, game, this is a perfect... Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a secret package. Um, that's one of the things that I mentioned before, guys. I am planning... Well, not planning. I don't know exactly if I'm going to be... Um, if I'm going to be doing the secret packages for this game. I did, I did them for... For Vice City, I collected all 100 packages and I actually made a sort of like a mini walkthrough at the end of my Let's Play when I was done with the main game. With this one, I'm not exactly sure if I will or not. Because there are two things working against me in this regard. One is I'm not familiar, I'm not as familiar with this game as I am with Vice City. And the other thing is that as I mentioned just now this game has no map it has no map whatsoever so it makes things a hell of a lot harder is this a yardie? no that's a land stalker where the hell is a yardie? I don't even know what the hell a yardie looks like is this a yardie? no a banshee damn it see game this is where a nice little blip would be would come in handy See, look. Well, for starters, look. This is all you get. You have a load game screen, an audio screen, a display screen, a control screen, a stat screen, and then you have your briefs. There's n absolutely no map screen whatsoever. All right, so now our brief says, now they're negotiating turn, blah, 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 blah. All right, the cartel expecting a Yardy uh, posse. Go and steal a Yardy car. Head north. You'll find one in Newport. I'm in Newport, but I don't see a Yardie. So again, this is this is dumb. <laughs> Where the hell is the Yardie? Am I just supposed to find a Yardie? Is that the thing? Is that it? Wait, is are you a Yardie? Let's see. Something tells me that Yardies are, um, they might be, no, something tells me that the Yardies may actually be the, the lowriders, no, actually, you know what, I'm going to take this, <laughs> the, um, the lowriders are the ones that, uh, you can actually control, they bounce up and down and stuff, yeah, they're fun, um, they don't handle all that great, unfortunately, so they're more of a, uh, more of a gimmick car than anything. I mean, you get some use out of it every now and then. Like, I know in Vice City that it was actually part of one of the missions. Is that you had you had to find a um, a a car, a lowrider car, to kind of enter a race. At least I think. It was, I, well, that and San Andreas had had that going on. Man, where the hell is a yardie? I don't. Seriously, like, bad game design is bad. 
How the hell am I expected to find a Yardie when I don't even know what a Yardie looks like? Are you a Yardie? No, you are not a Yardie. And now I have a cop on my ass, of course. Jump in the car, roll that- Oh, you bitch! No! 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 Ah! See, all this because I couldn't get a stupid map and a blip on the screen that tells me where the stupid Yardie is. Alright, so, um, again, because I don't want to bore you guys to death trying to collect every weapon that I had up to this point, that's why I have no problem whatsoever using and abusing the weapons cheat code over and over and over again. And uh, while we're at it, let's get our armor back. Booyah! Alright, so now we're well equipped again. Um, you know what, let's, let's not do K again. K's stupid. K is a dumb mission. I don't even know what Yardy looks like, that you don't tell me where to get one, so you know what? Fine. You don't help me f finish your mission? I'm not gonna do your mission, sir. Alright, so let's go to D this time. See, that one doesn't give us a dumb mission. I'm pretty sure though that that is the case, that that was, um, Yardies are those, like, lowrider type, you know what, let me see this, because I think this one's a Yardie, I, I just want to see, just, so, just to see if I'm right, no it's not, alright, look man, I, I got no beef with you, alright, it's the game's fault, alright, let's see what D is. I don't I don't know what D well I don't know anything about this game but pretty much at this point but let's see what this is I'm actually really curious to see what this is all right liberator first of all let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter who the hell is this people will read something into anything these days experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price but groups of men get greedy a valued resource, an old oriental gentleman I know, has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. AKA, I don't give a do a about that guy. <laughs> Alright, so we have to rescue a person, a friend. Something tells me that it's going to be one of those annoying missions where I have to... So you can infiltrate the hideout, head north. See, what the hell? What is a Colombian gang car now? See, this would be a great time to, you know, show me a picture or... See, because I don't know what the hell a gang car looks like. I don't even know what a Yardie looks like. But now, all of a sudden, a gang car? Really? Man, this sucks. Alright, let's see if maybe this Oh wait, this is the same <laughs> this is the same car that I that, that I tried to steal last time. That's funny. Alright, so this isn't it, obviously. But I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that this is the Yardies or whatever are oh garbage truck. The Yardies are those cars that have the hydraulics on or not the, yeah, the hydraulics on them. But again, I don't know what they look like, and I don't know what constitutes a Colombian gang car, as the as the game told us. Again, this is serious, serious, just bad gameplay, or not ba uh, gameplay design, like game design. You don't tell your people what to do. What the? F <laughs> you know, a nice picture would be nice. That would be pretty cool. But no, you just like find a gang car like well what, what the f does a gang car look like I I feel like I'm just going in circles at this point I think I am damn it all right uh hmm are you a gang car no are you a gang car no out of my way people Well, this is exciting, not. 
Oh my god, this is so dumb. Seriously, what? <laughs> that, ooh. No, that's not it. I thought that, I thought that was making the hydraulics noise. But no, of course not. That would be too easy. Silly me. Thinking that this game is easy. Or that it actually has good game design. Hmm. Now don't get me wrong, even though I'm like bad mouthing this game a whole lot, it, it, it is a good game. It's just compared to Vice City and San Andreas, it's it's it hasn't aged very well, in my opinion. The game design is just horrible. You need a map in this sort of in this type of in type of game. The fact that you don't get one is so it's such a glaring emission. Cause again, this game is huge. How the hell are you supposed to find your way around this place? I mean, unless you you know, just spend hours and hours and hours and hours just going around memorizing where every little thing is. But at that point, that's not even fun. Like, who the hell wants to do that? I mean, granted, it was fun at the beginning, but, you know, like, here, now, like, all I want to do is finish the mission. I don't want to have to spend two hours going around memorizing what a freaking Yardie looks like or trying to memorize what a Colombian gang car is whatever the hell that is are you it no that you're not it not to mention the fact that you know without the without a map you, you don't like I don't know to this day even though I'm like seven parts into this playthrough I still don't know where all the um, pay and sprays and the ammunitions and pretty much every other like essential location that I would need to to beat this game, I still don't know where they are. Because again, you don't get a map. And as you guys see right there in the radar, they don't pop up anywhere. And I'm pretty sure, I, I haven't looked online, but I'm pretty sure that there's a glitch that doesn't show you the ammunition or any of those other vital places in Liberty, uh, not Liberty City, in Portland. The island of Portland. I'm pretty sure. Because, um, you guys were there. You guys saw it. I was looking for. Um, is this a yardy? No, it's a stallion. Uh, I was when I was still in Portland. I had no way of uh, of finding any any other places that I needed to. You know what? Ugh, freaking a man. Hold up. All right. So this calls for a walkthrough. Okay, I have no idea who this guy is. Oh, Donald Love. There it is, Donald Love. I think that's the guy that we're... Alright, you'll find... Drive to the Colombian compound. Steal a Colombian cruiser. Alright. Follow his initial on the radar. Enter the blue marker at the entrance of his building. Accept his job. Steal a Colombian cruiser. Drive to the Colombian compound. See, that's the thing. Like, I, what the hell does a Colombian cruiser look like? Even the guy doesn't make sense. Let me see. You guys may be uh, hearing my me typing. That's because I'm actually looking up. See, that th this is sad. This is sad. The first, like, I'm typing into Google and I'm typing Grand Theft Auto and I start typing in Colombian and the first thing that pops up is Colombian gang car even Google knows that this this game has bad design like or this has bad mission design at least or it doesn't provide enough information now it's just a matter of finding this stupid thing which looks like an SUV which doesn't help much because it looks like every other car in here. Oh, this is ass. This is utter, utter ass. Are you it? You know what? I'm going to assume that you're it. Actually, I think it is it. There we go. Thank you. Actually got pretty lucky. Alright, now we can actually start the mission proper like five minutes after the fact. Which is so bad. Alright, now we have our Colombian gang car. Does this even look like a Colombian gang car? Oh, god damn it, I ran <laughs> Open up the... I have a cop coming in here, too. Excuse me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. 
I have I have a uh, a sniper and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm really not afraid to use it. Okay, that guy's stuck in there. All right, so. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here, but... What? <laughs> Alright, so I killed everybody here. What, what am I supposed to do here? Game? Tell me? Something? Direction? Please? Is he over there? Is that where he is? No, that's a hidden package. I don't want to get that. Okay, what? Alright, there I must be in one of the garages. Oh, okay. Oh, you bitch! Alright. Apparently, uh... This is not good. I'm running out of life. No. Oh, this is dumb cuz like it's pretty much just a guessing game. And I'm getting tore up after every, every each time. Please be in here. Please be in here. All right, you're not opening up, so I'm assuming that he's probably in there and I just have to Get out of here. Okay, take the old oriental back to Donald Love's building. Got it. Get in the car, sir. Do you want to listen to some smooth jazz? Too bad. I, you can't. Because we'll probably get sued if I start playing music that I am not legally allowed to play over the stream. Alright, so that was annoying. Um, I mean, that was an easy mission. Well, kind of. I mean... The mission itself, once we actually got to the compound, wasn't that hard. I mean, I was able to take out everybody using my sniper rifle. Um, the more annoying thing was that you actually had to look for the guy. And if you, as soon as you open the, the garage door, they lit you up. So, make sure you have armor on. That's all I can say. Alright, come on, people. Like, come on. It's green light. Green light. Alright, um... Other than that, the most annoying part of this mission, I will, I will have to say, was just having to find a stupid Colombian gang car without even telling us what a Colombian gang car looked like. So, maybe this is also, this is also going to be used for the other mission, though I don't really want to risk that until I get more information. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to, there we go. So we're going to finish this mission. Um, I'm going to see what the next mission is. And if it's a good one, then we'll go ahead and start that. And then... Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go to... Let's go back to R, actually. So forget K. We're going to go back to R. Um, because we haven't taken a mission from him in a while. That's our... Ooh, you ran into that, madam. Uh, that's our friend in the bathroom, and before I actually proceed onward, let me fix my health, uh, because it's kind of low. There we go. And our armor, so we got our armor, we got our health back. We are ready to take on another mission, and then after this mission, um, I'll go ahead and call it a day. While we're while I'm getting there, guys, I will like to remind you that I am currently hosting a giveaway contest on my professional um, artist page on Facebook. So uh, this has nothing to do with uh, my YouTube channel. It has nothing to do uh, my artist fan page. It it's not associated in any way with my my I guess if you want to call it my YouTube personality, um, if that's I guess a proper term for it. Um, so it's not Johnny Crips 2000 or anything like that. It's me, it's actually me, uh, my artist page. I am a graphic designer and digital artist, and I'm giving away a free Yoshi poster. So you might want to go enter that contest. I will tell you about it at the end of this part. So stay tuned.
He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock. Oh, oh. nice. Scale a police boat. Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk. I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. Just the fact that we have to steal a cop car or a cop boat in this instance just makes me nervous. <laughs> any any time that there's something to do with stealing anything from a cop just makes me really nervous, and it actually brings back horrible, horrible memories of our mission from Vice City, where we had to infiltrate the freaking police HQ, and I got all kinds of lit up. That mission left me traumatized for days, people, for days. All right, so anyway, we have to go steal a police boat, apparently, and uh, we have to go kill somebody, I guess. And uh, see, this is one of the problems by of not having an actual map in the radar. It looks like I have to go over the over the over the uh, the bridge, but I'm willing to bet that that's not really the case. So again, that could have been avoided just by adding a simple in-game map, but of course not. Of course not. We don't get that luxury. Why would you? You know, despite the fact that other games like this pretty much had that feature from the beginning, but no. No, no. We had to include that in the strategy guide. Kind of have to force you to... Alright, where the hell is this thing? Aw, oh, damn it, I can't jump over this thing. Or can I? hi -yah! Oh god, oh god. Get out. I didn't like that car anyway. Um... Alright, so apparently the thing's over there, somewhere, and uh, we have to find something. Alright, let's jump off of here. It's probably not the best way to get down here, but screw it. We're on a time limit, or at least I am. So, uh, anyway, as I was saying, might as well go ahead and talk about it now since we have some time. Yeah, so I, I am currently giving away a uh, free Yoshi's Island Jurassic Park mashup poster. Uh, I'm gi giving it away completely for free. By free, I mean just as it sounds, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. Um, I, I will include shipping and handling as well. And uh, so really the only thing you have to do is just go to my artist's webpage and um, like, there's a post on there explaining the rules and how to enter. Really the only, the, only, the only thing you have to do to enter is just pretty much just uh, like the post um, with the contest rules and stuff like that, the actual contest post, and that's pretty much it. Um, you have from now you have until this Sunday, which is May fourth. Um, that's when I'll it's it's a Sunday. I'll be announcing the winner at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will be announcing it directly on my artist fan page. So again, this has nothing to do with um with my YouTube channel so I'm not gonna go on here and I'm not gonna make an announcement I'm not gonna go on my Twitter um, tumblr nothing like that you have to follow the actual my art my actual art fan page uh, to find out who the winner is but again it's completely free so there's really no reason why you shouldn't um, it's my little way of prom promoting my my fan page and really just you know because I don't know I'm a nice guy I like giving away free stuff every now and then actually this is the first time I'm giving away free stuff so um, my hope is that if I get enough attention, if I get enough uh, people interested in this giveaway, then enough people enter, uh, I can do this more often. And so far, it's been pretty well. I have over 30 people signed up. That's actually a lot more than I expected, uh, sadly enough. But uh, yeah, um, you guys should go enter. I'll, I'll go ahead and put a, a link to it in uh, the description to this video. And there's that guy. There's that sucker. Man, my god, that thing is... Oh, okay, so he's... The, oh, sh that's not good. And then he's getting away, that motherfucker. Ah, uh, no! God damn! All oh, these boats. Uh. Um. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and put a um. A, I, a, um, a link. Damn it, I can't. T oh, God. I can't talk. Can't talk. Boat handles like complete and utter ass. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and put a link to the, the actual contest uh, so you guys can enter on Facebook. And again, you have until this Sunday to do so. So you might want to go ahead and do it. Um, and again, it, it, it's really, 
honestly, I can't stress just how easy it is to do it. All you have to do is go on there, like the post, and you're entered. Um, just so you guys know what exactly, how exactly I'm doing it. Oh god, this thing handles like complete ass. Look at how slow it is to back up. Um, where is he? Seriously, where is he? Oh wait. <laughs> Did he just... I think he just messed himself up. Uh. Oh god. Booyah! The hell is that noise? Oh, that thing's falling down. Um, well, that was a mission. <laughs> it actually went a little bit faster than I expected. Um, so anyway, guys, as I make my way back to land and back to my save point, um, again, um, this is good. I actually finished talking about the contest in the time that it took to finish this mission. Mission wasn't that hard, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, actually, it's going to be a problem. have to get rid of that fence. There we go. So, um, yeah, like I said, y you guys should definitely enter the, the contest. Um, again, it's my little way of, of saying thank you to everybody who supported me so far, uh, who supported and liked my f artist fan page. And, again, it, it's just my little way of promoting my art. If you guys ever wondered what I do for a living um, in real life, uh, that's it. I, I, I'm a graphic designer and I am a, um, a digital artist and I sell my work and a lot of, or I shouldn't say a lot, but a good chunk of my work does deal with video games. So, and this is one of them. So if you like Yoshi, if that's one of your favorite characters, or if you like uh, Jurassic Park, or if you like, um, like sort of, um, how should I explain it? If you like the, you know, combining two two series together into one piece of art then maybe you'll like this one um, I had a lot of fun making it and I, I've gotten a lot of positive response and that's the reason honestly that's one of the main reasons why I'm making it available as a giveaway because there are so many people out there that want it and um, I figured hey why not give it away for free and uh, do it as a nice little way of promoting my my work and my fan page so again um, if you if you can um, go visit my artist fan page. It's on Facebook. I'll put a link to it. It's really not that hard to remember either way. It's just uh, facebook.com slash art. So that's uh, J-R Luna, like uh, moon in Spanish. Uh, J-R Luna art. And uh, that's it. So that's I post stuff on there all the time. I do have a professional website that you guys can check out as well. And I have a Tumblr blog uh, that's separate from my actual Johnny Crimson 2000 Tumblr blog. Uh, that's where I post all my art stuff, my all my artsy stuff. Um, so, yeah, go check it out and be sure to enter the contest while it's still open. Again, the contest ends this Sunday, so after that Sunday, um, it goes back. The only way you'll be able to get it from me is to buy it from me. So just to kind of let you guys know, normally I charge about $20 per print for one of these things so this is your chance to get one absolutely free you don't have to pay for anything not even shipping come on man for free for free Yoshi Yoshi it's like 18 by 24 it's pretty big you can hang it on your wall um where the hell am I going I think I'm going this way so anyway guys um it's gonna take me a while to get back to the island to Stanton Island so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and say my goodbyes now uh, thank you for joining me today on Twitch. Uh, if you're joining me on Twitch, thank you again. If you want to be continue watching me as I play through this game till the very end, go ahead and like or follow. I think it's follow on on uh, on Twitch. Follow me. Follow my Twitch channel or whatever it's called on Twitch. Um, and uh, yeah, be sure to check out my Twitter page, my uh, Twitter at Johnny Crimson 2K. That's where I make all my announcements. That's how I've made my announcement for the contest, my Yoshi's Island uh, poster, free giveaway poster contest. So I put stuff like that all the time. And uh, that's how you hear announcement from me, what videos are coming up, what reviews I'm thinking of making, maybe what new series you may expect from me and things like that. And also go check out my YouTube channel at uh, Johnny Crimson 2000. And uh, that's where you'll find all my uh, reviews, my my past let's plays and uh yeah my my video game series and all that good jazz so 
That's it for me, guys. Thank you for joining me. And uh, this has been Johnny Crimson 2000, and I will see you in my next video. All right, peace out.